Yo, what's up guys? We are back today for another random battle live. We're just gonna jump right into it. I actually uh, fell asleep a little early. I woke up and uh, it is now 8, 10 a.m. I have to do this really fast, but I wanted an upload for you guys. What the heck is this matchup? Come on. Are we life orb? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's swords dance. He's gonna go for earthquake. Okay, we're not even... Yeah, we're not even gonna live with that. Alright, well, uh, that didn't go well. You're great, great opening matchup. Just give me a fire type against the Duck Trio. Um, okay, so yeah, so I I fell asleep way too early. I was supposed to uh, to wake up and um, wake wake up a lot earlier than I did and, and record this and get this out for you guys. And I, I want to make sure this is out on time, but of course uh, I have to get to uh, to work at some point, so. Uh, I'm recording this. I'm gonna try to make this a shorter video, something like 18 minutes, so that it's quicker to render as well, and uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah. So that was a terrible first turn, and uh, but now we're in with Trevenant against his Mightyena. I'm gonna go for a substitute. I assume he's going to. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So there. In comes the Del Caddy. Let's go for the Will O Wisp. I think Trevenant is just gonna win us the game. Um, all right. Well, never mind. Trevenant wants to miss Willow Wisps now. Willow Wisps. All right. I can't speak right now, guys. Like I said, I just woke up. You guys get to hear what I sound like when I just wake up, and it's uh, it's not pretty. It's, I'm I'm sure it's not that different from when I uh, from when I record normally. But let's go for a Horn Leech. He goes for a Dark Pulse. We're gonna be able to knock this thing out, I think. Uh, well, with when with one more, it would have done the job, but. He's locked into Dark Pulse. I'm going to go into Gudra here and be able to uh, to take this no problem. I'm just worried about that Dark Trio because, like I said before, that's uh, it's a threat, man. And he uh, he let <laughs> he opens with the Dark Trio against an Infernape. Like, what are the odds? You get a, you get a Pokemon this week to an Arena Trapper like on the first turn. Uh, I would have liked to have taken out a Pokemon with Infernape first before getting just like destroyed and O code. Anyway, Gujra's in now, and uh, his Mighty End is not burned anymore, which is a little bit of an issue. But he goes into Doug Trio. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Tail to break a potential Sash on this thing. As we do land, woo! <laughs> we can hit moves, guys! Alright, um, Rotom comes in. I'm just gonna go for a Sludge Bomb, actually. Because this thing shouldn't be able to hit me too hard. He goes for a trick, gives me choice scarf. He gets a salt vest. I'm gonna be able to hit him up with a uh, with a sludge bomb, get a poison off on him. And I'm actually not gonna stay in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Needle Queen because I expect I fully expect him to not go for a grass type move right here. Rather go for a volt switch or something like that. So I'm gonna go into Needle Queen. He's going to double right into Delcaddy. Okay, cool. So we get to get up Stealth Rocks right here, which is another thing I wanted to do. There we go. And uh, he could switch into his Duck Trio here. I'm going to go into Trevenant directly. Hopefully he goes into Duck Trio. That would be great. Uh, he goes for a double edge. I'm immune to that. It's not going to work, man. Uh, going to get behind a sub. And uh, we'll work. Oh, okay. He's got the Thunder Wave. And we are leftovers. And uh, okay. Well, that's bad. Going to sub anyway. He's going to go into Mighty Anna. And we're going to get the sub off. Great. And we're going to go for a Leech Seed right here. And uh, we'll work from there. He goes for a Crunch. Going to get this Leech Seed off. Awesome. Maybe should have burned it first. But uh, now we can go for the... Can we switch into Electros? Don't really want to. I'm gonna, just going to go for a Wisp. He's going to be able to knock us out there. That's fine. We're going to go into Feraligator, actually. It outspeeds this, which is good. Uh, alternatively, yeah, I think Electros is just the, the correct play. And uh, just go for a Thunderbolt. Because Crunch won't be able to knock us out. We'll be able to hit it back extremely hard. And uh, after the Leech Seed, I'm assuming he's going to go for another Crunch. Do we have Aqua Jet on for Alligator? We don't. Okay. That's not good. Um, yeah, let's just fire off another Thunderbolt. That's fine. We lose that in the process, but it's okay. I'm going to go Gator, and I'm going to really hope he doesn't see that I'm faster than him. And he goes for another Crunch, because if he goes for Sucker, that could be bad. All right, cool. We're able to knock that out. He can easily go into his uh, his Rotom here. I'm curious to know what his last Pokemon is. 
we can uh, we can beat his team with uh, just for alligator though, because we have the ice punch. What's this thing's speed? He tricked me a choice scarf, which means he's definitely fast. Uh, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna make the play in a Gudra here. As he goes for the Thunderbolt, okay. So we could have gone into uh, and he gets a para. All right, we could have gone into Needle Queen there, but it's all right. I'm gonna go for the uh, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Tail actually, as he brings in his Duck Trio. So if we don't get fully powered, we're able to knock out the Duggy. Nice. Okay, cool. That was the last threat to uh, to Needle Queen. Everything else can't really hurt it. Duck Caddy comes in. It's gonna go for Double Edge. That's fine. I'm just gonna fire off a Dragon Tail. And uh, this thing has 164 speed as well, so it is also slower than our Feraligator. Uh, the only thing that's not is his Rotom. So let's see how do we go about this. Yeah, let's go into Gator. And let's just go for a Waterfall, honestly, and knock this thing super low. Goes for a Wild Charge, doesn't do much. I would have personally just gone for Double Edge again. That's okay. I'm gonna go for Ice Punch right here in case he wants to switch into his Rotom and get fancy. And there we go, there goes that. And now... Now we have to rely on Nidoqueen winning us the game. His Rotom is definitely max speed and it's gonna be able to knock us out here with a Thunderbolt. But I'm gonna go into Nidoqueen and predict that. As he goes for Leaf Storm, okay, so good play on his part, but now his, uh, his special attack is lowered, so he's either gonna be forced to switch out here. What could take a Sludge Wave? A Poison type, right? Uh, not a poison type, excuse me, a uh, steel type. Let's just go for it anyway. Goes for another Leaf Storm. I'm gonna be able to knock out his Rotom right here. And now we get to see what his last is. He was keeping it in the back, so I don't think it's anything too, too good. There we go, it's Pinsir. Um, that's not bad, though. That's not bad at all for him. Are we Life Orb? Yeah, we are. Uh, I gotta go for the... This book... I, ne I never remember this. Hold on, I'm gonna pause it real quick, guys. Alright, no, so I'm just crazy. Um, Bug doesn't resist poison. So, just gonna go for the... Okay, so he's gonna stay in to get the Moxie? Yeah. Oh, why? Alright. Well, uh, there goes that. And uh, I'm sure he's Mega, because he went for Return. So, he's gonna Mega Evolve right here and just go for another Return, I guess. Is 165 our max potential speed? I guess it is. Alright. So, there goes for Alligator. And, uh, of course, the lead matchup was terrible for us. I'm gonna blame it on that. Uh, Behem versus Beedrill, yet another terrible lead matchup. Actually, let's go for the Trick Room. Let's go for the Trick Room turn one. He's definitely Mega. That's that's guaranteed. He's got the knockoff. We're going to be able to go for the Trick Room right here. And we're going to be able to outspeed him with a Psy Shock. And take out his Beedrill. <laughs> there goes that. All right, cool. Do we have a relatively slow team? I got to check this out. Uh, it goes into Hippowdon, gets up Sand, not great. Uh, we do have a relatively slow team, actually. Uh, other than Scyther, like, Smeargle's slow. Gyarados isn't too fast. Let's see, we would probably go for Rocks right here, right? Yeah, let's go to him on top. Let's get the Intimidate off. He, we're not Intimidate, okay. Well, never mind then. Um, I did 48, which means we should be able to live the next one. Please land Toxic, hit on top. I just made his Hippowdon extremely fast, by the way. So, <laughs> maybe Trick Room wasn't the best play. Maybe I should have just gone straight for the Psy Shock. Anyway, it's fine. If he switches into a faster Pokemon that can take a Toxic, like, I can outspeed it and, and knock it out potentially. So, it's not the worst thing. Make a play, man, please. He goes for Toxic. There we go. And we miss ours. Okay. That's fair. Um... He's gonna go for Earthquake again. I'm just gonna go into Gyarados. That's it. Uh, gonna get this Intimidate off, an actual Intimidate right here. And uh, I really want to predict him to just go for Toxic. The Trick Room's over, so I'm gonna go back into him on top. As he goes for another Toxic, there we go. And now we're faster, so we're gonna be able to get ours off on him, which is what I wanted. As he goes for Earthquake, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't knock me out, actually, because of the Intimidate from Gyarados. Thank you, Gyarados. And let's just go for Close Combat right here. And knock this thing really low. As he goes for Stealth Rock, so good play on his part. Now I won't be able to get rid of those. Uh, but now I can also go into Smeargle if I choose. Uh, which has very bad defenses, uh, actually. So, maybe not the best play. 
Let's see. What do you have? You have Hyper Voice, right? Uh, don't know if that's going to be able to knock him out from 52. So, going to go into Snurgle. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. And I'm faster than this thing, so I'm definitely getting them up. And then I can even go for my, uh, my Sticky Webs if I live this Earthquake. Which, I mean, I should be able to. It's not going to knock me out from 88. Come on. That's not, that's not real. That's not a thing. Powdon's not that strong. Unless he's like super attack invested, which I mean he could be seeing the damage on him on top. But either way, I'm getting off my rock, so. Goes into Volcarona. Smart. Uh, this thing doesn't get anything to protect it from being spored, so. He's gonna go for Fire Dance. I'm gonna live on two. It's gonna increase his special attack, but we are gonna put this thing to sleep. We're gonna go for the. Switch into Scyther directly, I think. And then just go for an Aerial Ace. Yeah, that's my play. I don't have another play. Because uh, this thing is only asleep for this given turn. We have to go for Aerial Ace right here. I don't have a choice. And uh, we're going to be able to knock out his Volcarona. And we didn't get the Flame Body, which is nice. We also have Roost. So I can Roost up at any time. Against uh, against something else that's, uh, that's slower than me. Is this thing faster than me? I don't think so, eh? No, it's not. And we are Eevee Light. Awesome. So I'm going to Roost. And uh, he's going to go for the Thunderbolt. It's not going to do half, so... Uh, he's not Life Orb, though, so... How do we go about this? This thing is very strong against me. I could just sack off my Smeargle. Which, I mean, is definitely the play, because rocks aren't going away anytime soon. As he goes for another T-Bolt. And now I can go into Giraffe Rig, actually. And I can go for the Hyper Voice. And, uh... Two hit KO is hit on, that's for sure. This thing doesn't take special hits too well. So, goodbye, Hippo. And, uh... You know what? I'm actually gonna go... Do I want to just hold on to this? No, I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice, it's fine. I have Sax anyway. We'll see what he has in the back. He knows my whole team now, so he can play around. But uh, I need to keep this thing for the Heliolisk. It's the only thing that knocks it out. Um, and I don't want... Well, I mean Scyther outspeeds, but I won't be able to knock it out from full. So I need a little bit of extra damage on it. I swear, if he's Heliolisk, like the sand... Like being benefic uh, benefited from the sand, I mean, then that's uh, that's crazy. Um, Hyper Voice is still base 90 coming off of 197 special attack. Which is still good because you look at Gyarados' attack and it's 234. And that's a really high attack stat, so this is like base 90, I think. This should still do a lot. Uh, he's actually faster than us, potentially. Yeah, let's just... Um, no, I said I need to keep this thing for the Heliolisk, so... Let's sack off Behem, hopefully he doesn't go for a Dragon Dance or anything like that. Uh, he goes for Roost. Okay, cool. That's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, I'm gonna go for the... Trick Room, I think. Yeah. He's gonna go for Flare Blitz. That's fine. That means he's Charizard X, which means we go Gyarados here. And we set up a Dragon Dance, boys. Um, are we faster right now? No, we're not. I have to go for Dragon Dance. He goes for Swords Dance, actually. Okay. Alright, now here's the mind games. If I go for a Waterfall, he's dead, right? Unless he's not Mega. He's Leftovers. Right? We, we saw Leftovers? Yeah, what am I saying? He isn't Mega. Okay. So we're, we should be faster than the Heliolisk now, unless it's Scarfed. So we can just straight up go for Waterfall. We should be able to knock this thing out in Mega form. There we go. Goodbye, Charizard. He actually chose to go for the Swords Dance. Awesome. Uh, flying, not dra- <laughs> Why is Gyarados flying, not dragon? I wouldn't be able to tell you, man. It's just, uh, it's a cool typing. It's, uh, water flying. It's actually really, really powerful. Like, uh, Swanna. Swanna's really good. But, uh, it, because of its rock's weakness, it doesn't get as much play. We can go for a crunch right here, knock this thing down to 15% as he goes for a toxic. If he's got protect, it doesn't matter. We're going to be able to knock him out anyway, and we got that one, so uh, GG. And let's try to get a last one 
right here. Try to make this about, uh, like I said, 19, 20 minutes, no longer. All right, so we've got an Aegis Slash against a Go Goat. Let's go for the bulk up. I'm just going to start bulking up and win with Go Goat. I'm not even going to show him the rest of my team. You guys are about to see a Go, -Go a Go Goat sweep. This thing can actually sweep teams. Uh, he goes for Flash Cannon. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go for the. We are faster than this thing. I'm going to go for the bulk up again as he goes for another flash cannon which is fine I'm gonna go for milk drink and then I'm gonna stall this thing out of its life or pits his flash cannons doing like 37 so it's not a threat 37 38 it did 41 on the first turn actually so it's uh, it's a little bit powerful but uh, that's that's a life or pit so yeah he's, he's guessing that I'm gonna attack this turn but he's wrong I'm just gonna heal up there we go <laughs> now we're back up to 89% uh, uh, I'm gonna go for. We have uh, a lot of attack and a lot of. Uh, I don't want to take. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to be able to knock out his Aegislash Slash when it's at. Uh, okay, well he gets a Spit F drop right there. That's pretty bad. I think I have to go for the Earthquake now. I have to knock this thing out. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, we still have Go Goat though. It's because if he didn't get the Spit F drop, I would have just kept milk drinking and until he was pretty much gone. Uh, but because that happened, uh, I had no choice. He would have done a lot more than 40% to me at that point. He would have been doing 60, and I wouldn't have been gaining back more than he would have been doing to me. So Here uh, on his Venomoth, uh, I don't have a really good switch to this thing, honestly. I think I'm just going to go into Vespaquen. Vespaquen seems solid, yeah. Let's go Vesp. And uh, he's going to bug buzz, so we're going to be able to resist that. That is a crit. That didn't do much for a crit. And uh, we'll be able to go for the infestation right here. He's going to go for the quiver dance, so he's not going to be able to get out of here. And uh, now we can go for the defend order. That increases both our defenses, I believe. Uh, let me actually just check that. Uh, well, that's what happened, so. Uh, infestation is still doing its job right here. I'm going to go for substitute. He still shouldn't be able to knock us out directly. Um, he goes for a sub of his own, but that's not going to help you, bud. You are infested. So. Oh, wait. He's not infested anymore? Why? Because he's behind a sub? What the heck happened there? All right. Well, I'm going to go for a defend order. He's going to go for a quiver dance. We're pretty much going to match each other at this point. Um, this is a bug move with a base 90. Yeah, I think... Does Poison resist Bug? I think so. I'm just going to keep going for Defend Orders. He's going to go for a Bug Buzz right there. It does go through Sub. That's a little bit scary. Um, it did 38, so it shouldn't be able to knock us out this turn. Now, I'm just going to try to break his Sub. Yeah, he's, he's not able to knock us out. And we're going to go for an Attack Order. It's resisted. But it's not able to break it. Uh, this thing is extremely scary right now. As I think it can just take out the rest of my team. Well, let's try to go for an attack order. And the way I'm going to break this thing's sub is with Embor. And I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz. And again, no move he has should be able to take us out. He should have Sludge Bomb as his last move. And I think we should be good. Should be good to go. Bug Buzz does 60 with a crit. So, had he not gotten that crit, we would have been able to live the next one. Um, we might still be able to. It might be a roll. Let's see. Uh, and the fact that we took 0% from that uh, Flare Blitz recoil means... Oh, God. Okay, this is scary. Uh, means that he... Uh, the, the sub was about to break with, um, with attack order. It was on the verge of breaking. All right, so you guys for any Q right there. Nothing I could do about that. Do we have any Focus Sash Pokemon? It doesn't look like it. Probably has e-speed on this thing. We have 230 defense, actually. That's not bad. I don't think we're able to take this, but... Like, if he has a dragon move. Like Draco Meteor, exactly. Um, but he just lowered his special attack. Which is nice. Um, let's go into our... Let's go into Reshiram. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bait the next Draco Meteor. I'm going to have him drop his special attack even further. And I'm going to go into Go-Goat. We're going to sack it off. We might still be able to pull this back, but we need Reshiram to do some work here. 
Let's go for the, um... Honestly, let's just go for the Toxic. He's got the EQ. Alright. Let's, uh... W w didn't we see that? Earlier? Uh, yeah, we, s we saw Earthquake. So, that was to be expected. I had to go for Draco right there. That's unfortunate. Alright. Well, that's gonna end that. Uh, he should be able to take us out with an Earthquake easily right here. I'm just gonna go for the, uh... I guess the Fire Punch. Yeah. Uh, well, he had actually doesn't take us out, but we're not going to be able to knock him out back, so uh, we're both going to live on 2%. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's just a quick random battle live for you guys. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pull out two wins. Uh, that's been the theme this week, actually. Uh, it's one win, two losses. Very, uh, very bad week for me in Pokemon, but I'm kind of busy with something right now. I'm in the middle of, uh, of something pretty big, which you guys are going to see. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to have a, an announcement video out, so... It's, uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty hype stuff, man. Wait until you guys see this, but anyway, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thanks again for watching. Leave a like down below if you made it this far, if you enjoyed the content. Uh, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, of course. If you have any comments for me, you can leave them in the, co in the comments section down below, or hit me up on Twitter, uh, which is also in the description. And, uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks again for watching, and ciao.